Hi guys, guess what I found? I found one of my favorite books. When I was a, a little kid, I would ask my mom and dad to read me this book before bed almost every night. So I'm really excited that I get to share it with you guys now. It's by Richard Scarry. He's the author and the illustrator. Well, mostly the illustrator. A lot of the people who first wrote the nursery rhymes in this book, you know, we don't really know who they are anymore. They're so old. It's the best mother goose ever. And I really love it, Richard Scarry's illustrations. See? I love how he makes animals look like people. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Here's the title page with more of his wonderful illustrations. The best mother goose ever. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the little boy tending the sheep? He's under the haycock, fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I, for if I do, he's sure to cry. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea, silver buckles at his knee. He'll come back and marry me, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto is fat and fair, combing down his yellow hair. He's my love forevermore, Bonnie Bobby Shafto. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with wood and clay, wood and clay, wood and clay. Build it up with wood and clay, my fair lady. One misty, moisty morning, when cloudy was the weather, I chanced to meet an old man, clothed all in leather. Clothed all in leather, with cap under his chin. How do you do, and how do you do, and how do you do again? I love the idea of a misty, moisty morning. Simple Simon met a pie man, headed going to the fair. Says Simple Simon to the pie man, let me taste your wear. Says the pie man to Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Says Simple Simon to the pie man, indeed I have not any. Hickety pickety, my fine hen, she lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my fine hen doth lay. Sometimes nine and sometimes ten. Hickety pickety, my fine hen. Let's count and see how many eggs she laid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten eggs today. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. <laughs> Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. Look at those funny little pigs. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone, but when she got there the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. She went to the grocer's to buy him some fruit, but when she came back he was playing the flute. She went to the hatter's to buy him a hat, but when she came back he was feeding the cat. She went to the tailor's to buy him a coat, but when she came back he was riding a goat. The dame made a curtsy, the dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. The dog said, bow wow. <laughs> Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. There's the little boy who lived down the lane. 
Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. Look at that big, big family. Elsie Marley is grown so fine, she won't get up to feed the swine, but lies in bed till eight or nine, lazy Elsie Marley. Oh my goodness, look at that big family of swine. One of them's trying to have a pillow fight. One of them, is, oh, some of them are playing instruments to wake her up. You can see the clock saying that it is, let's see, nine o'clock. She needs to wake up. These ones are all getting dressed. These ones are listening to their record. Uh-oh, there's the babies that are crying. This one is still getting dressed and reading a book and riding a bike and setting the table and making some noise with the pots and the pans. And look at all the food. Swine is another word for pigs. If you couldn't guess, you could guess that from all the pictures of the pigs. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. A gander is a boy goose. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, turn him out, knaves all three. Look, I bet he's the butcher, and he's the baker, and that is the candlestick maker, because he has the candlestick on his head. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig, home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. <laughs> Isn't rhyming fun? Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. If you had to live in a giant pumpkin shell, what would you do? I think it might be kind of fun. Sing a song of since sixpence, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came up a blackbird and bopped her on the nose. Let's count all the blackbirds to make sure that there's 24. Let's see. One, or let's start here. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. That is a lot of blackbirds. Barber, barber, shave a pig. How many hairs to make a wig? Four and twenty, that's enough. Give the barber some of that stuff. <laughs> Look at that funny barber with his hair and the pig. I love that. This is a good tongue twister, I think. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, what's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? 